I am obsessed with shortcuts on iOS 16 and Apple. With each update, they keep surprising me with new and modern features. Today, the shortcuts application is so powerful that even the basic actions, just the basic actions, can actually be used to create your own Pomodoro timer. A lot of pain. Some things are not the same. There's a lot of stuff to cover because Shortcuts has gained a lot of functionality since 16.1 to 16.4. So if that sounds interesting to you, let's get started. Starting with the settings app, you can enable or disable announced notifications with the set announced notification action. You also have an action to silence unknown callers directly from Shortcuts. You can use these actions with your focus mode related automations where you can disable all unnecessary notifications while a deep work session is active. For your focus mode automations, you also might not wanna look at your always on display, which you can disable with the set always on action. I don't know how people use this setting, but if you're one of those people that know how to use this, you have an action to enable or disable auto answer calls directly from the Shortcuts app as well. So this next one is really good for the creators out there. So if you're one of those people, start paying attention because you can finally enable or disable True Tone directly from Shortcuts. You can create an automation to disable True Tone when you open certain creative applications and turn it back on when you disable them. So how do you guys restart your iPhone? Do you hold the power combination thing? You slide across the thing, which, yeah, you slide. Oh my goodness. See, this is what I'm saying. I usually don't do any of this. Instead, I just go like, restart my phone. And Siri does the job most of the time, but it is not the most convenient way of doing this. But finally, we don't have to do any of that. You can have a single action shortcut to restart or shut down your device, and this is amazing. It's not gonna work completely automatically because it's gonna give you a warning and you need to confirm if you wanna restart your device. I wanted to let you all know this because I know there are people out there watching this video that have malicious intent about pranking people where their phones keep restarting when they open a certain app. You also have a get battery status action to check if your charger is connected and if your battery is charging. I don't currently have a need for this action to be honest with you, but I can kind of imagine creating an automation that will back up my photos to my NAS server at home in the middle of the night, but only if the charger is connected. Just something that's running in my mind. I don't know how else to use this action. If you got ideas, let me know in the comment section. But for now, let's take a look at some basic actions that were introduced in the Shortcuts app as well. You have an action to change your VPN status with the set VPN action. You can enable or disable night shift with the set night shift action. You can also change how your device is exposed to airdrop directly from shortcuts with the set airdrop receiving action. Oh, and this one, I've been waiting for this action since I got this M2 iPad Pro review coming soon, but this action is amazing. There is an action to enable or disable stage manager directly from shortcuts. So any iPhone only applications, AKA Instagram that exist on your iPad, you can create automations for those applications such that when you open those apps, stage manager is turned on. So instead of looking like an ugly, exaggerated mess of an application on your iPad, it looks like a tiny floating window somewhere within the stage manager. On the calendars app, the edit events action, it has been updated and it can now accept or decline calendar events directly from the shortcuts app. The action contains a few options that, I don't know if all applications support all those responses. I know for a fact that Outlook doesn't support any of these features. Again, on the calendar app, the find events action can now filter events based on number of attendees. With this action and the previous action, you can actually create a shortcut that will automatically decline any events that are sent to company-wide email groups if you don't care to attend those. Now, let's take a look at lock screen actions because in iOS 16, lock screens is probably one of the biggest features that came out. First, you can get all your lock screen wallpapers as images with the get wallpapers action. You can switch from one lock screen to another with the switch wallpaper action. To be honest, that's not a new functionality because you could do that already with focus modes and focus modes can be enabled and disabled from shortcuts. But it is nice to see that you don't have to create new focus modes just so you can have multiple lock screens throughout the day. I'm actually working on a video that is like taking a look at reminders in 2023 because in iOS 16, the reminders app actually got a huge update. You have some of those features accessible directly through shortcuts. For instance, they updated the find reminders action to pull all the reminders that are due in a week or were due within the last week. You also have an action to open smart lists directly from the shortcuts app. So back when I made this video, the books app had a bunch of actions that were given to it. But for whatever reason, throughout the beta cycle, all the books related actions were pulled from the update. 
but all of these books actions are here now and to be honest with you all i i don't really care about them i can't really read i mean i know how to read i i know how to read but i just cannot read books i find them extremely boring so these shortcut actions for all the readers out there it's here for you there's also a search in books action i honestly was excited for this action i thought it would be something that you could like search a term inside all your books and see if you can pull a quote directly from one of the books that you read nope this just opens the books app and searches for the search term there's a similar action to this for the shortcuts app as well it will search the shortcuts app for the search term i don't know who would be using this because to be honest with you you can do more with the existing actions for the get contents of url action you can select your file to be the attribute that is passed with your post request actions if you guys know how to use this action better please let me know in the comment section because I'm really interested in learning about this. Speaking of things that I do not understand, there is an update to the log workout action. Now you can select ask every time instead of passing a variable directly in your shortcuts. You can do the same for log health samples action as well. One of the most requested features for shortcuts that I have come across is being able to check what focus mode you're running. And with the new shortcuts update, you finally have a get current focus action. So there's another action for focus modes. If you have a shortcut to select your focus mode and it's a menu based shortcut where you select one item and it enables that focus mode, you don't need to do any of that anymore. You can replace the entire menu with just one action for a set focus mode. And instead of selecting a magic variable, just select ask every time and it will create a menu for you to select the focus mode without having to create the menu by yourself. So this, this makes me mad because there have been updates to the clock actions on the shortcuts app but can you edit alarms can you can you change an alarm no you can't no you cannot do that but what you can do is open a certain tab in the clock app directly you can start timers and i think that's it but with these actions and the background noise actions that we received in the previous updates we can actually make our own pomodoro timer application I will leave a link to that directly below the like button in the description. Thanks everybody for watching. This is Geet.